Good afternoon, Lee Shop, and I'm John Sibelia Truder. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 3. Well, last time, our beloved hero, Count Olaf, passed away, tragically. Officially, he, like, died of old age, and it sounds very peaceful, but he was actually leading an army in Denmark at the time. So, he died doing what he loved, which is murdering and robbing Catholics. This led to, shall we call it, a difficult start to Duke Adelvard's reign, because... Uh, He's not the military leader his father once was. He doesn't get a hat at all at the moment. His marshal is okay, but he's much more of a diplomat. He's also more of a true believer, because yes, he is zealous. So he's getting a bit of piety in, but like, you know, not that much. Still just 0 0.9, together with being diligent and chaste. Which I would under normal circumstances say was bad, but under gavel kind, actually it sort of, uh, sort of worked out. Because I've only got one son and one daughter, and I've disinherited the son for being useless. So, uh, right now, the daughter's in line to inherit literally bloody everything. Which is brilliant, like in the sound of her. Ilva, the magnificent warrior queen giant. She's, uh, she's great. By the way, I think we need to, um, clarify this, because it's kind of hard to tell. Like, when the game says giant, how giant is a giant? Well... On the title screen, your current ruler stands next to their spouse and their heir, which is now Ilva, so we can demonstrate precisely how tall Ilva is. And the answer is really bloody tall, I love it, I absolutely love it, that's, that's one a hell of an heir right there, oh I cannot wait for her to get on the battlefield with an axe. Despite the tricky start however, Adelvard was just able to pull out a victory, despite almost going, you know, bankrupt during the process, because we massively overbought men at arms, uh, and yeah, we've gained a big pile of land uh, down here, so uh, new owl land is looking good, and by good, uh, I mean uh, control is, um, absolutely terrible. So, we're basically getting almost nothing out of this place. Levies are okay, but, like, no tax, and we kind of, you know, need tax. So, we're working on that as fast as possible, but, uh, once again, not a military leader, so not very good at exerting my control over this whole region. But you know what? Things are still looking good for me, which is more than we can say for the King of Sweden, who I'm pretty sure is, like, the weakest king in the entire world. Hang on, I'm gonna go and check. Yep, yeah, even the tiny, tiny kingdoms of northern Spain have more troops than Sweden currently has out on the field. Yep, yeah, I think it's true. The weakest king I can find in the entire world is the Khan of Kimek over here, who has access to 900 troops. So, yeah, good job, Sweden. Now, I know having a weak leash sounds like a good thing in some ways, but yeah, Norway's just sort of up there going, oh look, free territory, and uh, they're a bit on the scary side. So, okay, I've got a plan, and it's a good plan. Okay, the reason why Norway is doing really, really damn well is uh, their leader controls a fair amount of territory. He's got himself four counties and uh, only one son. So that son is going to inherit everything too. Uh, his wife, meanwhile, is, uh, yeah, she's 64. So he's not going to be having any more children unless he, like, produces a bastard and legitimizes them. But hopefully he won't be that stupid. Well, okay, ideally he would be that stupid, but probably not. So, uh, yes, we've got to take some of that land off him, because that's why the King of Sweden is so weak. The King of Sweden has basically got no land whatsoever. Now, that is partially my fault, I'm gonna admit, because I may have murdered the old king, though fortunately Olaf did take that secret to his grave, it never came out, so I think now it can never be discovered, or if it can, it doesn't matter, because the person who did it is dead, so... Yeah, mainly, however, it was the fault of Gavelkind, because, like, three kings died in fairly rapid succession, so the Swedish lands got a bit divided up. Not my fault. Gavelkind's fault. Let's just blame Gavelkind. So, if we wanted to attack Norway, take their territory away from them, because, yes, if they don't have territory, then the king doesn't have as many troops. He doesn't have land to pass on to his successor. We cripple them going forward into the future. Two targets, so... Over here, we got ourselves, yeah, the actual capital, which looks nice and vulnerable. At some point, we should nip back over there, deal with that when the opportunity presents itself. But this area is, uh, you know, Norwegian and Catholic. 
and whatnot. So, uh, difficult for me to control. Up here, however, this territory that, yeah, he took off Norland, which... Does Norland even exist anymore? It might have been destroyed. Yep, Norland was destroyed at some point. So, uh, yeah, we have the right to take that back, or rather the King of Sweden has the right to do a De Jure war. I can just do a straight up seize the duchy war. But to do that, I'm going to be needing giant piles of prestige. And I'm going to need to get up to illustrious. Because, yeah, you can't start that sort of just let's seize everything war. No, not you. The king. We can't do, yeah, any of that until we do that. So, yeah, there we go. That's precisely the one. Caesar flipping Norland. Though, does Norland get automatically created if I do that? I don't know. I mean, it says the contested title, but no title's being contested because this title doesn't exist. It's just the De Jure land within the title. But maybe it means like, you know, the titles in terms of the duchies. I don't know. Yes, he's on territory within his realm that is part of the Duchy of Norland. Good, 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 good. Now, uh, the problem is uh, I'm not strong enough to do it because uh, some of my alliances have uh, have fallen apart. Though, uh, yes, um, time for a quick episode of Let's Talk all about the things that John got wrong. Because, uh, yes, I was uh, spending much time last episode uh, bemoaning how, you know, my relationship with Lapland uh, seemed to have fallen apart, despite the fact that, you know, my half-sister and friend uh, was actually still the wife of the current king. So what I didn't realise I could do is uh, I could just ask him for an alliance. That's a thing you can do. I didn't think to look for that because one of my previous alliances just got automatically passed downwards when one person died, but the relationship was still nice and close. But on this occasion, we actually need to, uh, you know, refresh it, which fortunately he's willing to do immediately. So we've got flipping Lapland back, which is really, really good because that means, of course, when we go for Norland, uh, we can pincer in right on him immediately. Lapland from the north, our land from the south, because yeah, these days you can raise your army all in one spot. So the troops down from southern Auland can just be raised right here. We can move straight in, seize all of this, no problem whatsoever. So that, that we can do, because now our combined strength should be pretty darn solid as soon as Lapland agrees, especially as, yes, we're also actually allied with uh, Vormaland over here. So he'll be coming in to assist as well. So, uh, yeah, we've now got ourselves a good pagan alliance, though should keep an eye on these guys over here. Estonia, Lithuania. Might want to make friends with one of them sooner or later. In fact, Lithuania in particular is looking a bit on the isolated side. So, uh, then again, the current king has, yeah, he's got some health penalties going on. Maybe just wait to see what goes on there. Especially as Novgorod is right there and looking pretty darn strong. Then again, they're orthodox. They probably won't even speak to me. And don't forget, while we're trying to build up our strength, yeah, a uh, problem over here. We lost Finland to uh, the Finnish, which is, you know, kind of fair enough, I suppose. But uh, now they might decide to uh, come and attack us. Now, I'm pretty confident we can defend our borders. Because if I raise up all my troops with the yeah, defender's advantage uh, from them crossing if they come by land, uh, we should be able to kick their asses. But I'm still, uh, I'm still a little concerned because if they decide to do it while I'm off, you know, visiting the piggy bank, that could definitely cause trouble. I'm hoping that these guys just start keeping each other busy. And on top of that, yeah, how about you just go and attack these guys? Because they're looking very weak. So, you know, just expand in that direction. That's fine. Just go and do that. Oh, and as someone did point out, yeah, you can actually rename your dynasty and create a new motto. Meaning now the official motto of our entire dynasty is, in this house, we earn hats, which is perfect. So, we need to take a few years just building up our strength, locking down Southern Ireland, and making sure, yes, yeah, Sweden doesn't get attacked anymore. But, there is one very important thing I forgot to do because we were busy last time, which is uh, funeral practices are back in the game. And as a result of that, I can choose to raise a runestone in honour of Count Olaf. So, I feel like he'd like that. We can get ourselves some nice, easy faith. 
Everyone in my faith is going to love it. So, yes, we are going to do that straight away in honor of my dear father, who did uh, so much to grow the empire from, like, nothing. Now, okay, officially, this bit was captured by Adelfard. But let's be clear, he just finished the job. The work was done by his father. There we go. The alliance is now back on with Lapland. That has been formally agreed. And on top of that, and... Okay, so he immediately wants me to go and uh, help out with uh, something. Wait, what are you trying to do precisely? Ah, he's going for this tiny, tiny county down over here. I mean, I guess I see no reason why not. Sure, you can have a bit of extra land. I won't say no. I'm not 100% sure I'll bother showing up. But, you know, if you bother to go, I will go and assist. Never mind, I won't be going because Sweden just got attacked by Count Olav again. And this time he's going for a single county. So, this county down over here. Okay, that's... That's of interest. Sweden, you've still got, like, nothing. Right, yeah, you've still got nothing. Okay, I think we need to go in and we need to assist as best we can. We can't lose any more territory. So, your majesty, I'm coming in to help. Here we go. I have joined the war. And if I'm in the war, uh, Vormaland, I think you need to be coming in too, actually. Ah, I can't call in allies when I'm not the war leader. Oh, this is... Right, that's, that's kind of unfortunate. Well, 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 well. Everything's... Everything's going to be fine. Everything's okay. Because... We might be able to take out some of the Norwegians regardless. And if we can't, then... I mean, rather than actually taking them on directly, go for the capital. We might be able to capture someone. We might be able to take out one of their leaders. We might be able to capture, like, you know, his heir. Something that gets things going in our favour. And actually, now we've got Southern Owland, I can raise up my forces basically right next door to his forces. So... Just keep your eye out on what's about to happen. No need to raise the armies up immediately. Though any time you'd like to get your children married off to make some new alliances, that'd be great. Okay, for now, just wait. Just wait for the Norwegians to draw up. They're probably going to march straight down south, in which case we can just try and pull them north. Everything will be fine. And, okay, there's an ally has joined the war. And that's the... No, that's the Lapland war. Because obviously, you know, Lapland's got allies. They know how to play the game, unlike bloody Sweden. Also, he just hired mercenaries. Because he can afford those. So good. Good, good, good. I'm, uh, I'm so bloody glad that uh, Norway keeps attacking us. Just be ready. Alright, if Norway's going to send everything they've got down over here to besiege this place, then we're just going to send everything we've got back up to their capital to go and immediately attack that, which I think is what Sweden is actually already doing. So if they want to trade, we'll see how that uh, works out for them. So okay, Norway arrived, immediately started backing off again. Lapland's naffing off to Ireland. They should be able to win that one by themselves. I'm known for my dedication to my faith, which is not that useful, but whatever. And yes, what's Norway gonna do at this point? Are they just going to naff off to... Yes, they're going to try and get ashore, and is there gonna be a battle? There's, there's gonna be a battle, isn't there? Yes, the Norwegians are much, much faster than the Swedish forces. So that's, that's good. That's everything spectacular. Okay, what we could do is just go and raid to the north. Okay, while Norway's busy down over there, we just keep them busy by, you know, being massive dicks and just attacking their new territory up here. We may as well just sort of... There's not much money to be got here, to be perfectly honest. In fact, there's like... There's very little. There's like a little bit. There's some towns. Uh, that's not got a huge amount of loot. Yeah, you know what? That's the right thing to do. We're going to raise up our armies and then basically just have them march straight into... Norwegian, in inverted commas, territory up north. We just attack those guys, we attack the king's own forces, it'll just keep them busy for now. Ooh, when I say that, I can't raid. I'd need to actually attack properly, so... Oh, that's gonna be expensive. Like, really expensive. Okay, we might just have to let uh, Norway have this one. I feel like we're not, uh, we're not stopping them taking that one county. 
Instead, yeah, we need to get set up in terms of prestige, like, uh, fast. So, uh, okay, it's time to do something rather dramatic, which is, uh, there's a special nuclear button uh, right here. Let you reset your perks. So, uh, if you don't like what your character was doing before you were playing as them, uh, you get to have a do-over. But it causes so much stress, it puts you straight into a mental break. Because, you know, redoing everything in your life is difficult. But, that would let me get out of, yeah, the Patriarch Tree... Uh, and into August, which is basically the prestige tree, which would be very, very useful. Plus, defensive negotiations. That gets me an alliance without a marriage, so I could make, you know, some more friends. It's worth it. I'm gonna do it. This is... I'm gonna have a slight mental breakdown. It's fine. Everything's under control, because... Uh, yeah, okay. What I want is I want defensive negotiations. I will keep the ability to befriend. That is absolutely fine. I will be going for firm hand. Don't have much dread, but whatever. Uh, prestige per knight. That's really good. And uh, yeah, prestige per powerful vassal. That's nice or have to take this one. Just take that. True ruler and more importantly, writing history. Now, okay. Plus one diplomacy for every alliance is... That's okay. That's pretty good. I can only take one more. So, uh, Dignitas. I could have uh, Diplomacy per level of fame. I think that's ultimately going to be better. Or, level of fame impact plus 100%. So, uh, more knights. And on top of that, more general opinion or secular opinion to be precise. I'm going to take Dignitas. Okay? Because my level of fame is going to start going up quite fast, especially once we start commissioning some epics. So put all that together, we are going to be a-okay. All right, that's going to help things out there. So up to plus 5.3, and that is just the beginning. That is going to go way higher. Though I am going to have to accept a mental break at this point. So, okay, what are we going to do here? Stress level one, we need to do something. I could just accept even more stress but not pick up a negative trait, or I can say, yeah, get drunk, but drinking is, you know, not good. How bad is it, by the way? Tiny penalty, stewardship down, prowess down. Okay, but stress loss is up going forward. Or I can start whipping myself and also become wounded. That strikes me as worse. Or I could just say I'm going to be strong and then find, you know, other healthier ways to lose stress. Like, say, for example, calling a hunt. That's minus 35. That's got to be the better option, right? And then, okay, feasts are, feasts are expensive. Call cool hunt is not so expensive. But yeah, last time I went on a hunt, I accidentally covered up for a bloody murder. So that's, uh, that's always fun. And then commissioning an epic, which really you want to have a, a hundred for to make it the best epic possible. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Am I willing to accept Drunkard? Yes. Alright. Adelvard is just going to have a drink. It's okay. So now, I enjoy the odd drink. It's fine. Everything's under control. And? Who was just taken prisoner? Oh, the Count of Vormaland. That's, that's unfortunate. By the way, yes, forgot to mention this. You may um notice that... Peasant rabble, dear oh flipping dear. You may notice there's um, a bit of a change in, in Italy, which is uh, Rome has sort of been um, grabbed in what may be a bit of a flip you moment, quite frankly. Now, I tried to figure out how this happened exactly, and I'll admit I'm struggling slightly. Here we go. So the Pope had Rome, then there was a holy war that actually seized it, and then it was granted to somebody, at which point... Tuscany took it straight back, it was granted to somebody else, revoked, returned, became independent, returned again. So Rome has been having a bit of a roller coaster down over there. But on the plus side, yeah, if Rome is literally in Islamic hands right now, you've got to hope that the Pope's going to be, you know, more focused on this nonsense and less on this nonsense. So hopefully the Crusades will be going in that direction. Also, I love your wife's hat. That is just beautiful. Oh, speak of the devil, the raiders showed up, but um, I didn't see them coming, so we didn't actually defend our didn't defend our territory. Okay, but these raiders look like trash 
to me. So we can take care of them, not too worried about that. So the bare minimum we can do that at least, so everything's, everything's under control. And uh, we get new perk. Okay, so yeah, we were saying we needed, uh, we needed money. So uh, collect taxes better, make buildings cheaper. Claim thrown against liege, which is uh, very nice. And uh, vassal levy contribution. My vassals are providing basically nothing at the moment, so that really doesn't count for anything. I think we've got to go for golden obligations, potentially. So, yeah. It's not very useful, but it will open up, yeah, vassal tax contribution, 10%. 10% to everything while at war or extort subjects, which I really don't want to do. So that one's not so good. I mean, if I need just a pile of money, I can raid, or at least I could raid. I can't raid right now because, you know, I decided to uh, join a war, which I shouldn't have joined because turns out we can't really uh, do much about that. Right, you need to um, move over to here, by the way. And now we're going to be raising up our armies. Not actually going to be getting involved in the Norwegian war. Sorry about that. Just need to, you know, take out a couple of stupid bastard raiders. So just let everything gather together. Just a little bit more, thank you. We just need to be gathering up the rest of it. Gathering two days, uh, one days. Right, there is everybody. Now, who's our best commander? Well, hmm. We've got a few good people. It's probably Valdemar. So, how about we just, like, sending you, my friend? What can we learn about uh, this guy? Your commander is uh, 13. He's semi-competent. And you're also bringing uh, some skirmishers, a uh, handful of archers, uh, five knights. How many knights do we have uh, here? Six. Are they good knights? Because, yeah, you've got to keep in mind, uh, do you want these knights to fight or not? Because, uh, for example, yeah, my brother is in this army, but... He can take care of himself. I think this is going to be fine. We've got the number advantage. We've got the advantage in every single way. This should be this should be a massive victory. So let's just move over here. And, oh dear, trying to get away, are you? Well, I don't think that's going to fly. And on top of that, we'll just be... Yep, Valdemar just wounded somebody. Well flipping done. Right there. And has wounded the enemy commander. Okay, so we are definitely doing some damage to them. They're retreating. I brought horses, so you can just take a little bit of damage, actually. Screw you. So, okay, we can kick out the hostile raiders. Good, 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 good. And you know what? This down here is positive, because what's going on right now is he is wasting his attack on me, taking out one insignificant county he's not going to get anything out of. Once he's done that, he can't attack us for like 5, 10 years or whatever. So uh, that's fine. We lost a handful of troops. They lost a lot more. And uh, oh no, Valdemar. Okay, Valdemar has been a bit wounded, uh, but he's fine. Everything's under control. And my bowman did an excellent job. Right, lads, just get over to the mainland. We need to get far enough away from these raiders uh, that you can actually stand down. Because I don't want to be paying for you, to be honest. There we go. Now we can break them down. Now we are making uh, some money again. So, yes, hopefully now what's going to happen is... Uh, wow, that is... That is four people. Just four champions uh, versus an army of 5,000. I'd like to be down the ground seeing that one. I suspect it's not going to go... No, it didn't go well for Sweden. So now Norway is going to, uh, you know, just siege down uh, the actual, you know, Swedish capital again. I think they've done that before. Never mind, Sweden managed to get 500 men together. Now they're being uh, absolutely annihilated. So that's, that's positive uh, right there. They're probably going to go for the capital. Then that's probably going to be it. And... Okay... I no longer have an alliance with this guy because he's no longer a ruler. Oh, because he died, apparently. Oh, dear. Killed in battle. That's a shame. Right, well, who's, who's the new leader? Well, it's this guy. And uh, I am actually proposed to his sister, but apparently that's not good enough for now. So, do I even want to, to go through with the wedding? Oh, especially as they're twins. And I feel like I've... I feel like I've engaged the wrong one. Maybe we should break off, you know, the betrothal until I know what they actually turn out as. Because I could marry either of them and it would work out pretty well. 75 prestige is quite a lot. And wait, hang on. Elizabeth with... Wait. 
Have I got two different family members marrying... I think I do. I think I'm marrying one of the twins, and the other one is marrying my... Oh, okay, that's... That's not what I was expecting to happen. Oh, well, we're definitely breaking that betrothal then. Because we should be able to form an alliance off the back of John Dolph's relationship with her twin sister. Right? I think that's right. Oh, but here's something I wanted to see. I could have an alliance with these guys over here. Yeah, for a duke himself, they're willing to actually fall in line for this. Okay, so either these guys up here or these guys down here. I feel like you, because then I'm safe from being raided, you know, by you. So, okay, that, that works beautifully. And on top of that, this girl comes with a whole bunch of claims. What well, looks like, uh, yeah, good claims. So they're going to be passed on to, there's not going to be any children. I am an old drunkard. There are going to be mechanical issues all over the shop. So, Okay, we're going to make that happen. That's going to be beautiful. 1,400 troops there. So we're going to have an alliance with Lapland. Alliance with these guys. We can reaffirm our alliance with Vormaland in just a second via John Dolph. So, yeah, that there. That's going to work beautifully. And yeah, I could go for the younger sister to make the actual betrothal last longer. Just to make sure I don't have children. Because I don't want children. Another son would really mess up everything right now, but then again, hang on, why am I after the claims? Because if I don't want children, I don't want anyone to get the claims. So yeah, let's go for then again, hang on. Check the succession rules here. Check the succession rules. Who's actually like, you know, inheriting anything? Ah, I see. I see, I see, I see. These are his sisters, not his children. Yeah, we're going to go for the younger of his two sisters in that case, because he won't marry me to his daughter, which is understandable. Unlikely she'll actually inherit, because he's still young, plenty of time to have children. But we still got ourselves a new alliance. So, okay, we are building a pagan alliance here, all right? Lapland, Pietasari, maybe one day Estonia and Lithuania. We are building it together, all right? We are building an alliance that can take on Norway, also, well done to Lapland, who are doing a lovely job over here in Ireland. Good to see your wars are going well, at least. Also, I'm going to do something to help out Sweden here, which is I'm going to give them more levies in return for less taxes. So I can have more money, which I need for my armies, and they can have more troops, which they need because they're bloody useless. Okay, so they're now at minus 61, and oh bloody hell, you're going to come and attack me now, aren't you? You're 100% going to come and attack me. Well, that's that's just irritating. Okay, I need to wait out the clock while they're doing that. Because at this point, yes, yeah, Sweden's lost everything. Because they only have one counter to begin with. They're going to march at me. So, okay, here's what we need to do. As soon as they start getting close to me, we attack their capital. All right, we go in, we draw them off. The moment they get close, we retreat, we break our forces down. We never actually engage, but we keep them busy until the clock hits minus 100. And if we're very lucky, Sweden can pull together enough troops to, you know, potentially try and retake some of this. Then they'll swing back south to deal with that too. Okay, never mind. They're attacking somebody who's not me. Just any part of Sweden will do. So, okay, that's absolutely fine in that case. I don't need to get involved, uh, meaning I don't need to pay my troops, because I've got um, slightly worryingly too many of those. I should, by the way, also send, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna send my beautiful steward, who's very, very good, uh, to Swedenify this area down over here, just for safety, because, yeah, he actually gets some positive side effects from doing that, so uh, we might get more taxes, uh, more levies while we're doing it. And, okay, the war just ended because he no longer controls any of the claimed counties. So be it. And okay, hang on. What? What just happened? Oh. Um. What? What did just happen? So. Wait. What? You still? It's still Swedish, isn't it? Hang on. Who? Who controls? Who controls this? Because oh blimey, flipping John was there. Count John of. Wait, hang on. John. There's no such character as John Dolph. That's just John. Wait, who was marrying this person? Lindolf. Sorry, I kind of merged my brothers together there. Sorry about that. 
Well, whatever just happened, yeah, Norway just sort of, uh, struck out there. So, honestly, uh, that works for me. That's A-OK. -okay. okay, we might have a moment's peace. Then again, they might just jump straight back in. Norway has seriously got a, a bit of a thing going on here. I would like to jump in. Okay, do I have any way to attack? Because I physically can't start a duchy war until I've got one, the prestige, and two, the right level of fame. I could attack a county. That I can do any time I want. That's fine. But yeah, we'd be uh, we'd be in a bit of trouble. I can call up all my allies. Uh, but yeah, with Vormaland on side, we'd be in better shape. We need to build the prestige. Okay, it's time. It's time to commission an epic. And not just any epic. No, a mighty great epic. Make it... That was 50 and another 100 on top, wasn't it? Right, we're back in. We're back in debt at this point. Good, 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 good. So I accidentally just, um, just put myself in, uh, in debt there. Good. Absolutely thrilled about that. Okay, with this flank secure, I think we know what we need to do here. Uh, raise armies. I'm at war. Oh, I'm still at the stupid war with... Oh, bloody hell. Would you guys mind finishing your war, like, really soon? Because I forgot you can't raid while you're at war. And we're kind of in a bit of financial difficulty at the minute. Now, more importantly, yes, the epic itself. So, uh, what's it about? It could be about me, which is beautiful. It could be about the family, so more renown over here instead of personal prestige. Or, make it true. So, uh, piety, because I'm zealous, so that makes sense. We need the prestige right now, so it should focus on me, of course. Marvellous. And, seriously, I need, I need some money. Let's just get some money in. Fast as you flipping like, please. Now, Count John's come over to read the John Iliad, which is marvellous, and apparently it's, um, it's not very plausible, like the bit with the Hermit's guidance. On the other hand, uh, who's to say what the past was like? So, okay, we can gain some prestige and some renown if we just, you know, fill it full of dragons and leprechauns and whatever, or I gain honesty and 300 learning lifestyle. But that's learning learning lifestyle, but personal scheme success chance, plus 20. That's, that's interesting, because that's not scheme power, that's not speeding things up, that's actually more likely to succeed. But then learning lifestyle, when am I going to be in the learning lifestyle? No, we want the renown. The renown is powerful, you don't get many options to get renown. Renown is a really good currency. Let's just get this ticking up, because we're moving up in the world, damn it, nice and fast. Meanwhile, my spy master's coming, so wow, 75, you are, you are clinging on there, my good man. You're looking good for 75, by the way. So, uh, your great-great-grandfather was a fascinating and resourceful figure, he tells me. Um, I mean, you say that. Are you, like, 100% sure? Because, like... Beyond my father, we literally don't have a family tree. We're just making this up. So we can either say he was honourable, 150 prestige, or that the blood of a snake flows in my veins. So, uh, 10 dread. Stories of intrigue. So, a hostile scheme resistance plus 5, uh, and 300 intrigue lifestyle. That's... that's interesting. But, eyes on the prize, we've literally just gone straight up to uh, distinguished. Illustrious is what we're after. All right, just 2,000 odd more points, we've got that. And uh, now I'm distinguished, we do get, yeah, opinion plus five, uh, knights up, this is, uh, this is good. All right, this is why I love Commission Epic, because it just throws prestige at you. Like, so much prestige, it's ridiculous. Ooh, and there's got to be pictures as well. Yes, we need pictures. 50 gold, so exceptional epic, or learning challenge for the author. Now, he's got an 80% chance of doing it really well, or I can try and do it myself. <laughs> no, no bad call, because I'm looking very drunk right now. Bertel is very learned, so he should be able to... Yes, Bertel has just learnt how to be an artist. Beautiful. And we can get Lindolf married over to Elizabeth. Excellent. So, yeah, make that happen. They're going to be married... And once that is done, you're now working for... No, no, no. No, no, I know you just came here. And there we go. 
New Alliance. Good, 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 good. So the alliance with Vormaland is back on. We've still got Lapland. We have still got Pietsori. So we're in good shape. And as the epic music swells, we have got ourselves an exceptional family epic. So 150 prestige, 50 renown, and plus 5 prestige for 10 years. All right, that's... That's a lunatic amount of prestige, and I love it. So, we're now gaining plus 12.5 prestige a month, and... oh, my spy master did not live long enough to see it completed. Maybe he saw it briefly on his deathbed. Do we have anyone good to replace him, by the way? Ooh! Okay, we've picked up a new, a new courtier. Does anyone know who this guy is and where he came from? Because he seems good. Now, my vassals are agitating for this job, but they're also terrible at it. So, then again, I have got my new... Ah! My new sister-in-law is actually in court right now. Though, she doesn't like me. Why don't you like me? So, oh, I broke the betrothal of... Well, not to you, though. I broke the betrothal of your sister. That's true. So, okay, she's, she's holding a grudge about that. We'll just have this guy do it. Is he, is he good? He's... I mean, he's Swedish, he's Norse. Yep, you know what? Screw it. You can be the new spy master. Welcome aboard, whoever you are. Ah, downside of me actually not having a wife, though, is, yeah, there's an empty slot on the council. So, uh, yeah, my stats aren't as good as they could be. Just a handful more months, we'll be out of the red again. And the Lapland work is... Yes, I know the work is complete. Like, you handed it to me, it's fine. So, ah... 50 gold, we can have this guy stay. Wow. He is one a hell of a clever man. So, to be honest though, we don't really need you. I mean, he might be a good realm priest, but on the other hand, he is, yeah, he's 59 and melancholic. So, I'm not sure he's going to be around for too much longer. Basically, I mean, thank you for the epic. Have fun. How's my army doing, by the way? Okay, it's capped out. The levies are not going any higher for the minute, but we do have uh, some good stuff going on here, and we're slowly trying to, yes, build up our strength down over here. Control is uh, ticking up, so we're slowly, slowly dragging some more money out of these places. Ooh! Okay, hang the flip on! My brother John just died. Did he die of uh, complications related to a failed treatment? Oh dear. Oh, John. Did you have- Oh! Wow, John had, like, all of the children. Sorry, I kind of missed that John had, like, all of the children. I'm a bit suspicious of Christina, but what can you do, eh? Right, so, John tragically died wearing a really cool mask and a really nice hat. You know what? That's fine. He can wear that mask in the afterlife. So, okay, are all these children, like, here now? Ah, no, of course. Because, yes, when John died, he controlled this bit of territory in Owland. So, uh, that's now passed to his son, who works for me. So, uh, Count Alf Johnson. Oh, that's, that's an amazing name. Who is weirdly not very diplomatic. Despite, like, you know, various diplomatic-related uh, perks. But whatever. Oh, he was not the smartest tool in the shed. Uh, and also, he's he is literally a lunatic. So... Uh, I mean, he's a clever lunatic. So, you know what, Alf Johnson? Me and you can be friends. His sister, meanwhile, has married, yeah, a little tiny count over here. Who, therefore, we could negotiate an alliance just because, uh, yeah, actually. I think we've, we've got the family connection uh, right there. He's only got, like, 500 troops, though. So, uh, that's not necessary. Fine. So, uh, my children, or rather, like, my extended family, are starting to, uh, spread out a bit, which is lovely. What about the small ones? Where did they end up? They have gone down to Christina's court. So, that territory, Norway, was about to attack by the Luxiovich. So, okay. They're just sort of scattered all over the place. Not really related to me anymore. I'm a bit worried about my stress levels, by the way. I need to get that down, but I need money for that, and I need raiding for that. So, come on, guys, please. I really need this war to be, like, over. Anytime you're ready. Ah, of course, John was my chancellor as well, so... Okay, who wants to be chancellor? Anyone important? Ah. Um, Alf wants to be on the council. My nephew and vassal, he's... Not very 
good in a whole bunch of ways. Um, okay, Stenar, are you good at anything else? You would be, you would be an okay Marshall, but Marshall's really important because Marshall's boost control. John would be a competent, if unremarkable, Chancellor. So, I guess, well... Oh dear, those are all terrible, terrible things. Um, I guess we'll put him on Foreign Affairs, but I'm going to regret that because he's bad at his job. Still, good news over here. We have now converted this county to the beautiful One True Faith. Marvellous. And it will take you 11 bloody years to do the same uh, Do the same over here, apparently. Well, you better get started then, I suppose. Okay, this is good. There's being a major... What? Oh, the bloody Holy Roman Emperor's getting involved. Well, you're about to finish off this war, at least. I'm starting to suspect Sweden might be beyond salvation. Because what are you doing now? What do you want? He wants an entire flipping duchy. Luckily, it's not my duchy, but it is the duchy that belongs to... Uh, oh dear, that's that's a lot of... That's a lot of territory that's, that's coming in right now. And uh, you've got nothing. Okay, he's not got anything either. To be honest, I want to say he's not got anything either. He could call in reinforcements. He's He's got friends. I'm increasingly worried Sweden might be beyond salvation. We might need to at some point just like jump ship to a different country or make our own country a better country sweden 2.0 uh-oh linda my concubine just got pregnant oh why do i have concubines please don't have a bloody son i really don't need a son okay if we dismiss linda like and thus she doesn't actually oh she's wandering okay does that mean the child's not mine anymore because hopefully that's the case Oh, Lapland wants me in another bloody war. No, no, I'm already in one of your wars. I'm not in another war. All right, I'm not going into a war to defend this tiny, insignificant bit of territory. All right, you just flipping wrap up this war as fast as you can so I can get back to raiding islands, please. Okay, good. He's won that war, which, by the way, was for a single bloody county. Lapland's just like, you know, chilling out down over here. At this point. Still, they've also... Oh, you've also raided all of this, haven't you? You've stolen all this stuff. I was about to come and have all of bloody hell. Right, okay. This is... Everything's... Everything's fine. That's been... Uh, that's been raided. Uh, that's... That's also been... The problem is, now you're going to be raiding Ireland all the time, aren't you? Okay. Eyes on the price. Ignore the Holy Roman Empire. That's the King of Sweden's problem. Not mine. I just need to make some money. And when I say make some money... Ireland is drained pretty much dry. There's still like a handful of territories around here, but I still need to build up a war chest. So get everybody raised up. Yeah, Valdemar, pretty much all our hopes and dreams go with you, actually. So as soon as you're flipping ready, just gather everyone together. Marvellous. Right, off you pop. There's a little bit of island over here that's colonised England, so just go and deal with them. Oh, there goes the Holy Roman Empire, by the way. So they're just moving in right now. Obviously, um, Sweden can't do uh, anything about that. But they're not attacking me. So that's that's all fine. Everything's under control. Right, Valdemar, get over here into Chester. Then take out just the rest of this nonsense. Oh, Macclesfield. Yes, go and burn Macclesfield to the ground. Also, Malaysia's just given up and reduced, uh, yes, the, uh, the vassals. And oh, thank goodness it was a daughter. Okay, that's that's all absolutely, uh, absolutely fine. Then again, hang on, does... Does she still inherit, like, half the stuff? I don't know. She can be Ragnhild, though. That's a great name. Uh, have we just messed up the succession, by the way? Ragnhild now inherits most of the empire. Good, 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 good. Uh, or rather, she inherits... Okay, she inherits this territory down over here. Um... That's, it's not great, actually. And she's, I can't murder her because she's, okay. And I can't disinherit her because I sent Linda away. Oh, that's, that's not good. If Linda was still in the realm, I'd have control over this. But now 
Now she's officially... Okay, so if I've understood this correctly, let's let's see if we've got this here. Under the laws of succession, which right now is Confederate Partition, yeah, the titles will be divided up. And if possible, younger children have titles created for them if enough land is held. Now, I believe that means that the Duchy of Scone, which doesn't currently exist, will just sort of begin to exist. Because it'll just be automatically created and handed over to this baby that my concubine produced. Because I really shouldn't have had any concubines right now. Bad call. So, yes. Now, now all I'm going to get is the Duchy of Owland. So we're about to lose all of Scone. Good. Good, good, good. That's, that's, that's just great. You just had to have one too many. Spend a night with your concubines, didn't ya? Adelvard's reign has not exactly been, you know, showering us in, uh, in glory just yet. Let's just gather some- Ooh, we captured somebody. Good, we can sell him for money. Never mind, she doesn't actually want to bother ransoming him, so uh, you can just sort of go if you promise to worship Thor. And yeah, Sweden's not even, uh, putting up a fight here, unfortunately. Yes, there are- there are downsides to being, uh, the only major- Pagan kingdom surrounded by... Oh, they've captured the king as well. Oh, this is this is going spectacularly well. So, uh, Sweden's now just missing a chunk out of it. Which just belongs to, uh, belongs to that. What do you own now, by the way? No, not you. The other one. The useless one. Okay, this is interesting. He's just sort of uh, gained two counties uh, and a duchy. Right. Okay, this is not a bad thing. I know it looks like a bad thing, but it's not a bad thing for the simple reason that who actually controls this, by the way? Just just break this down for me. Okay, he's holding that himself, but he's going to have to get rid of that at some point or another. So, yes, Sweden now actually holds two counties, not one, which is very good news. If we could just have a few years of peace, it is possible that Sweden can rebuild off the back of this. And the populace are getting sick of the, uh, the control levels going on right now. Okay, understandable, to be perfectly honest. Right, well, unfortunately, I'm going to have to come and murder you. Okay, just give me one second to gather up a bit of money, that I will be back to come and kill you all. Oh, Valdemar, I swear you used to ransack faster than this. I think he's getting a bit slow in his old age. Ooh, and here's fun. So I captured a kid in Ireland, and yes, because I'm zealous, I actually lose stress by burning people who don't believe in Thor. So, okay, this is an excellent stress relief for me. Good, 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 good. Right, bring the army home, so it's, you know, standing nearby, and uh, new stewardship. Okay, new stewardship, this is, uh, this is good. So yes, we need... Uh, we need money. Alright, just give me a bit more in the way of then again. How much money is that going to represent? You can't see ahead of time. Okay, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Check my income here. My vassal taxes are 1.2. So yes, 10% extra to that is hardly spectacular. It's better than nothing. Take it. Alright, every little helps, but I think we need to go over to... Yes, authority focus. We need to get control sorted out here. Okay, some of the territory has just gone Swedish down over here. We are doing a good job converting all of this. I wouldn't just mind more. Yeah, you know what? Just just give me more money for the time being. You just go over to money and the odd bit of extra taxes. If this territory remains Danish for the time being, we'll just deal with it. Ooh, but here's interesting. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Has Sweden finally actually managed to make a bloody friend? Sweden, you absolute stars, what have you done? They've made friends with Estonia. Yes, okay. Okay, okay, okay. You've built back up to a thousand troops. Estonia is doing... Uh, how well are you doing, by the way? You're losing literally all of your wars. Good, well done. Well done picking Estonia. Good job. But it's fine. Okay, Sweden now actually has an ally, which is really good news. Right, everybody back home, please. Everybody back home. There is money and prestige. You guys can be broken down. Okay, we're good. Okay, we're doing well. We need to slightly fix up some of the, uh, yeah, the actual crews over here. But that should take no time at all. Then, everything put together, we should be 
in good shape. And uh, we're moving towards the Lustrous. Then again, how long is that going to take? It's going to take... Okay, uh, we're getting like 100 every, what, 8 or 9 months. So, okay. I mean, we should live long enough to make this happen, right? Oh, but here's something exciting. My culture just discovered hereditary rule. Okay, so yes, over in the tech tree, the King of Sweden's been uh, handling all of that. So he picks a fascination, something he wants to get developed. Meanwhile, something we're close by to that someone else has discovered but we haven't also happens uh, nice and fast. So uh, yeah, the thing that's happening nearby that we don't have uh, but like, you know, we're learning because we're seeing it is uh, communal government. Meanwhile, yeah, hereditary rule just happened. So uh, that's the partition law. Okay, so that's actually very important. Because that means, uh, yes, the random courtesan child still gets a few counties. Uh, but it doesn't generate equivalent tier titles. She doesn't get to become independent as a new duchess. It's very important we get that set up. Okay, powerful vassals have to approve of this, and it also costs us, you know, a bit of uh, prestige. Right. You. You're going to be a problem, aren't you? And yeah, though she hates me, she's also terrified of me because of my... 17 dread. Good, 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 good. So she's just, uh, she's just easily scared, I'm guessing. Yeah, she's a gentle, compassionate soul. Got it. Okay, so uh, we need to do something with, uh, with you. How would you like to be Marshall? Because uh, you wouldn't be terrible at it, to be honest. So how about you do that? Okay, we make you do that. That means you're going to take it just a tiny bit more time for the control business. That's going to make you cheer up. So everybody is now absolutely thrilled. So we're now going to change over to... Oh yeah, here we go. Flipping partition. We can't have high partition yet, though. That's that's a bit of a way away, unfortunately. We're going to need heraldry for that. But this partition should, should now mean, hopefully, yep, there we go, should now mean that we get to keep our land. All right, everything will now keep belonging to our land, but the baby will still get some counters. In fact, actually, the baby gets less under this scenario. So, yeah, Ilva gets to be the Duchess. She gets the capital, obviously. She also gets to keep this bit over here. So the baby only gets Scone and born home over there, the tiny island. So, okay. Everybody just uh, keep working on uh, keep working on that. And okay, if we're going to inherit this bit, we better get it, you know, ready. Let's make it nice and Swedish. And we're also going to move the control over to this direction too. So that's going to take, wow, 50 years. Okay, that's that's going to take a while, because we didn't really bother doing anything with that, apparently, so far. Good, 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 good. That's, that's marvellous. Still, the succession crisis has been not solved, but at least, you know, mitigated. So that's nice. Now, I'm a bit nervous about, you know, raiding at the minute, because apparently, yeah, some stupid peasant factions could just... There we flipping go! Right! Hi over there! So... What we're going to be doing is murdering you at this point. Because you've only got a thousand troops and they're absolute flipping trash. You stupid, stupid bastards. Right, Valdemar, go and sort this out if you'd be so kind. Because uh, I doubt these guys are going to be able to uh, do much to you, actually. So yes, just go and hunt down these stupid damn peasants. Put this down so we can get back to raiding. So in we go. This is gonna be this is gonna be the most one-sided battle in history. So oh, you're gonna try and reinforce, are you? Oh, good. Good luck with that. Good luck with that. And uh, okay, so it would appear that you've been defeated. Good, 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 good. And Alf, how could you? And I've got bad news for you, Malte, which is uh, guess what helps me unwind after a really, really long day. That's right. It's murder. Oh, bloody hell, there's a reason Hallen's a mess. So, due to us being bankrupt, yeah, the government's completely incompetent. So, there's a permanent minus one for the next four years. So, that's that's good. So, we may as well just focus down over here or down here instead. They want to see this place is... 
How's this place doing? Uncooperative guilds. That's not so bad. You should be... Yeah, you should be ticking up, but there has been a recent rebellion. So that's that's part of the problem. But yeah, for the actual uh, control business, we should probably turn our attention uh, down over here. So just start working on uh, start working on that. Or the island. Could work on the island. Let's get this done for now. Yeah, that's going to take you four years. Much easier. Meanwhile, Ireland appears to have, yes, regrown its wealth. However, that works precisely. So, okay, we're off to the piggy bank. Also, this is, uh, this is just beautiful to see. So, Sweden, yes, yeah, signs a relationship with Estonia. And uh, two minutes later, Estonia has basically, uh, collapsed in two. So, that's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful right there. And there's communal government, though. That just slightly increases, yes, development. So, that's, uh, that's not such a big one, though... Out of interest. Where are we paying attention now? High medieval era has not been reached by the Swedes. Okay, so we're getting close to being able to have high medieval text. But for the time being, what are we now, like, you know, learning about precisely? Okay, so the king's decided he's fascinated by horseshoes, which sounds like something the king of Sweden would bloody do, yes. Still, movement speed plus 10%, that's pretty good. And we're also absorbing from one of our next door neighbours a royal prerogative. So, ah, so higher authority laws. Gotcha. Though then again, the war is slowly swinging in, well, not really Sweden, but, you know, Estonia's favour. All right, this is uh, starting to not look like such a disaster. The king of Sweden has finally started to put together an army. Not a spectacular one, but, you know, it'll do. I still think we're going to have to, you know, depose him at some point. Then again, how how old is he? He's still pretty young, is he? Wow, he's 32. Okay, so he's not going anywhere in a hurry. Um, excuse me. This is this is my piggy bank, actually. You don't just get to come here and raid this stuff. I've been raiding here for flipping decades at this point. Please get out. The bloody cheek of it. I was literally about to come around the corner and do this. So, okay, we better raid nice and fast before this bastard comes and steals some stuff. Oh, Denmark wants their duchy back, and at this point I've put a lot of time into that thing. How many troops they have? Quite a few. Okay, this is... this is fine. This one... okay, we're not losing that. We're not losing that. Okay, we need to get our troops home in a hurry, actually. How much is, like, left around, uh... Left around here. That's not worth much. Okay, finish looting this one church, because this here, this is mercenary money. And uh, Elizabeth is off, is she? Uh, that's that's fine. Hang on. What, what claims do you have? Do you have any good claims? No, you could go buy. I mean, honestly, I kind of thought you might want to hang around, because, like, you're married to, to Lindolf. But, I mean, okay, he's not very useful. Sure, take him with you if you want. Okay, two, one, excellent. Right, okay, we've got 155 gold. Everybody back home, fast as you like, please. We need the armies back home. Denmark is now coming in. And technically this is... Oh, my nephew has been slain. Apparently I had a nephew. Who's... Who was he? Son of... Ah, that'll be the son of Bjorg. So sorry about that, that you just uh, died over in Lothian over there. Um, Sweden, were you planning to, like, help with this situation? At all. Or are you just going to leave this one to me? Okay, Sweden does not have siege equipment. So it's going to take them months to get through the walls over here. So that's that's one thing. This war is actually going pretty well for Estonia and the Swedes. Which is good. So that's, that's very positive. Uh, very positive indeed. Because I would really, really like, you know, Sweden to come and help. And okay, they have called Estonia into the war. But Estonia and Sweden are doing their own thing right now. Over here. And I need you guys over here. I might need to buy mercenaries. We might just need some mercenaries because uh, yeah, technically this is... Okay. Because I'm already in the war am I at this point allowed to call in vassals? I can offer to join your war. No. No, I can't because technically I've not joined the war yet. Okay. I need to get my troops back home in a hurry, my nephew. Oh, bloody hell, I'm losing more nephews. I'm guessing these are all Bjorgs, right? Yes, so Bjorg's having a bad day. Right, okay, you, sail home fast as you can. Ah, here we go. A Swedish force has just started counter-sieging. Okay, so me and them together. There's the money back. 
uh, we need to move you out of raiding mode. That's going to make you much more expensive. How much can I afford in terms of uh, mercenaries? Because now mercenaries are one-off payments. So uh, I could just straight up buy the Estonian band over here. Their leader is somewhat incompetent, it must be said. I mean, it would come with more champions and more actual soldiers who are, yeah, mainly levies and archers. Nothing too, uh, nothing too dramatic. Okay, let's have a look see here. Because if I recall correctly, your army was weird, right? Yes, it was. Ooh, it's a giant pile of skirmishers. It's a giant pile of skirmishers. And uh, what I have is... Oh, you're almost done, aren't you? Yes, yeah, sorry, a bit late for that. Okay, I need to get on the move now. Because I need to be ready. They're almost certainly going to go and try and attack, yeah, the Swedish army. Which is low on supplies, unfortunately. But has... What have you got with you? Anything that counters? Not really. You've got, like, some Huskarls and skirmishers are good against them. But if I could just get enough archers, we would have a huge advantage. How good is your commander? And uh, commanded by the ruler, the king of Denmark himself, who is... No great leader. How many knights? And seven. Okay, equivalent. I've got good knights, though. I do have good knights. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to go to a normal army, which is going to be way more expensive, but it does mean we're allowed to uh, reinforce. So we are reinforcing right now. Okay, they've taken that. Let's see where they're going to go next. Okay, they're going to come and attack this next. But that's absolutely fine. Because uh, for the time being... Oh, we've just lost a lot of progress there. We spend a lot of time building up control for the bloody Danes to just come in and take, you know, their own territory back. Oh, now here's interesting. Here's very interesting indeed. It looks to me like having taken Scone, the Danish army is now moving uh, to attack the Swedish army. But right now I'm not... Ooh. Okay. This could work very nicely... For me, if he moves in to attacks, he thinks he's got the numerical advantage. As soon as he is committed to battle, we then just move in and we attack. We join the attack. Then, all of a sudden, we have got a superior numerically and quality-wise army ready to go. Alright, let's see what he's going to do here. And no, he's coming straight back out again. Boo! Boo, I say, you massive coward. The two of us together will be able to make short work of this siege. And then hopefully, yeah, we can take back this territory. And uh, problem is I'm not in control of this war. Meaning I can't guarantee that, you know, anything's going to happen in terms of white peace. We could do with a white peace. Because seriously, we've got, we've got too many wars going on right now. Still, Estonia continuing to do somewhat well at least. Oh, looks like they might have just hired some extra mercenaries as well. So, if we could get on top of them, no, they're fleeing out to sea. Okay, not much we're going to be able to do there. But at least, yes, we can siege faster than he can. So that's good at least. All right, I need to take back Lund and looks to me like... Okay, Sweden's managed to... Ooh, Sweden's managed to pull a couple of mercenaries out of their ass. Good, 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 good. Sweden's finally digging itself out of the financial hole here. Good. Good, 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 good. This'll do. This'll flip and do nicely. Oh, yeah. That's going to be done in two odd months. Excellent. So now, now we have got a good combination of troops going on here. Excellent. Sweden is finally, well, just for the... Ooh. Okay. Favor hook. Why has he got a favor hook on me? And also, oh, I'm... Apparently, I'm getting sick. Okay. How good's my doctor? He's... Oh, he's very good. He's very, very good indeed. Okay. Safe treatment. Too late for caution. I mean, we don't know what this illness is, but then again, I am a drunkard. Severe penalty. Flipping do it! Go for it, and I will live to see another day. Good! Greatly reduced disease symptoms. So, uh, this is fine. Massive boost to health. So that is, that's positive. Okay, we're not dying. Uh, Malaysia's got a hook on me, somehow. We're taking this out. You're about to take that out, then you're fleeing out to sea. But you're about to, like, you know, lose all of this nonsense. Right here, so this is... Okay, this is... This is fine. We just need to uh, figure out where you're going next. Probably back to your... Ooh. Are you going to be able to get on top of him? No, you're never going to get on top of him in time. Do I want to help out with that? 
Probably I do, yes. Best thing we can do is just keep this under control. He's probably going back to his capital just via the sea route. No, he's going to the island. Okay, he's going to the tiny, tiny island. Now, the problem is control is now... Control's bloody shredded around here. Dear, oh, flippin' dear. Still, we can take that faster than they can. Estonia is starting to struggle a bit against Lithuania, which is an issue because we need them to be friends. Uh, someone's gone Swedish. Good. The bare minimum, there's some Swedish stuff going on. Uh, what else needs to be Swedish, by the way? Oh, Swedish across the board. Well done. In that case, yes, just get me some extra money. So his siege is going to take three months. Ours is only going to take, okay, less than two. So this is good. This is positive. We've taken his land. He's not taken ours. All right. We're kicking him out of all the places he's supposed to be. But that island is uh, not really where I want to be going either. Okay. We just need to... We need to knock over some more of his territory. Got it. Then again, has Sweden got this at this point? You're... Are you going out to sea? Oh, I wouldn't recommend it. But, like, I suppose if you insist... I mean, if he's going, I'm going too. All right, together, we can deal with it. Is this it? Are we actually going to try and land into their army right now? Oh, and speak of the devil, we got ourselves, yes, martial lifestyle. Serve the crown, right? We just flipping need more control because control is a mess at this exact moment in time. Okay, so where's, uh, there's us. Now, no, you're not going to the island at all. We're just going... I guess I'm going to follow you, but like, where are you going? Oh, you're just going to go take out more Danish territory. Fair enough, I suppose. I'll I'll join you, I guess. Then again, I can't... I'm not sure I can afford this. I can't afford this war for too much longer. Meanwhile, I've recovered. Okay, not dying except for old age, which is going to happen sooner or later. But what can you do? Is this it, though? Is this finally the move? Is Sweden finally going to make an attack? Against the Danish. Because if you are, I'm in. Okay, 100%. Oh yeah, he's doing it. He's flipping doing it. Alright, I'm in. I'm going in and... Uh, he's not going to make it in time. Okay, we're chasing. At this point, we're chasing. We're flipping chasing him. Except, why are you going over there? Okay, I guess you're going to the island. No, never mind. It is actually a fight. It is a fight. And... Uh, what's... Wait, who's on... Who's on which side? Why are they... It's flipping Estonia! Flipping Estonia just showed up! Everyone get in there! Thank you, Estonia! Oh, flipping heck, Estonia finally showed up. My dynasty just became insignificant. Far and wide might be a bit optimistic there. Okay! So we just flipping... Oh, we just destroyed them. We just flipping destroyed a thousand of their men. Okay, you guys going to the, um, to the island at this point? You know what? I'm gonna chase them down. I think at this point we can uh, we can take them because they are giant piles of skirmishers and I've got giant piles of archers. So you go take out the island. I'm going after the army. Oh yeah, he's going to try and land. He's going to try and do a landing by sea. I'm going to block the flip out of him. Oh no, now he's going to sea to the south. He can't be trying to do the island because he's not going to take the island. Island's going to fall in like 50 days. I'm going to try and protect Lund. That's the only logical place he's trying to get to right now. No, he's looping around to here to take this place back, though, if he wants to do that. That's going to take him a while to do. I suspect they're going to take that siege yeah, in 10 days. They're going to be done with the island. Then they're just going to come barreling in. And when that happens, I'm going to be flipping ready. All right, I am ready to go. We are all going in. You want to do this? Let's keep flipping doing this, you stupid bastard. Oh, yeah, yeah, you'd better run. And I'm officially married to, yes, the Pietasari girl. So, okay, that alliance is now locked in. Lapland, locked in. Estonia, tied to Sweden. I know things don't look great, but they're doing better than you'd think. I mean, honestly, if anything, I think we can actually do with breaking down our army at this point. Are you going for Halmstad? I think you're going for Halmstad. Right, let's go and try and intercept them around there. They've got to be going there. And at this point, the war is uh, hopefully... As good as one. Nope, they're just heading further and further north for Sweden proper. Let's see if we can just get on top of these guys and uh, move in, move in, move in. Yeah, we're going in. We're all going in. For some reason, you decided to just sort of stand here. So, all troops, join in and we are going to kick their asses again. Oh dear, shouldn't have tried to mess with the might of Estonia. And also Sweden, but let's be honest, Estonia is doing the heavy lifting here. Oh, I think they're agreeing with me on this occasion. They're going hunting. They are just trying to track down these bastards uh, so they don't get away. Uh, 
Oh, this is going to be sweet. This is going to be this is going to be reparations as well. Sweden's economy might finally be recovering. Honestly, I think it's time. By the way, I think they've got this. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to get them down. We don't need this anymore. They're winning another easy victory. I need to let my economy recover for a bit, and lots more victories there. One hundred percent. Oh, flip me. We've actually. We've won a war. I mean, Sweden, specifically, just won a war. That feels weird. I just gained 800 flipping prestige for... Oh my goodness. The king loves me. I just got so much prestige, I just immediately became... Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Is that illustrious by any chance? Am I by any chance now illustrious? Oh, and what's this? We've got ourselves a new king of Norway. A new king of Norway who appears to have... Uh, oh dear. Oh flipping dear. Did the king manage to pop out some more children while I wasn't paying attention? Well, probably not because they're like 50. But like... Okay. We've got some interesting stuff going on here. Apparently, some stuff... Ooh. This king's looking much weaker. Like, so much weaker than his predecessor. This is... Uh, this is fascinating. And he's got... He's got no allies. Oh, oh dear. Okay, things were looking a bit dicey for a second, but the boot is on the other flipping foot now. So, your majesty, the king of Norway, can't help but notice that, uh, one, I've got all the prestige in the world. Two, I'm now illustrious, meaning I get to wage duchy wars. Three, you seem to be, uh, not actually that secure at all. And four, yeah, Norland is technically still very much Norse, very much Swedish. So we're going to be having that off you right now. And unlike the King of Sweden, I've got some friends I'd like you to meet. Hey Lapland, want in on this? Oh, I thought you might. Vormaland, I have got some great news. It's Norwegian hunting season. Honestly, Pietasari, I'm not even expecting you to show up. But if you want to, free stuff, go for it. All right, here come the Vormalandians. Uh, you guys may or may not get involved. You've got your own war going on, to be honest. You guys are going to take bloody ages to show up because, yes, you never move your um your rally points, even though you 100% could very, very easily indeed. May as well just uh, let a bit of uh, money come in. Oh, look at that. We have now got a full strength army. Flipping, loving that right there. And with this territory locked down, we should probably... Hang on, how's... How's this place doing? Oh, bloody finally, we've got over, yes, the negative administration we had from being bankrupt. So, yes, um, you get back on with this. Like, let's just uh, keep working on that for a second. Right, raise all armies if you'd be so kind. And, yeah, Valdemar, all yours as usual. Now our allies have started arriving. We should be in a position to just uh, get everything straight in over there. And, okay, hang on. Who's just shown up? She wants to share her knowledge of the world, but, like, she's only from next door. The Sami are just next door, and she's not even uh, that good, to be honest. So you can you can just go, to be honest, because I don't think we actually... Yeah, you can just go, actually. Bye. Right, just deploy my troops straight over here. We're going to knock over these. No problems whatsoever, and County of Owland. Okay, you are supposed to be a good marshal. Dear, oh, flipping dear. Ah, I see the Kingdom of Norway. Kingdom of Norway's coming in by boat. They're going to be attacking me directly, are they? Well, ho, ho, ho. Uh, good luck with this. Oh, my. What's that? That's... Ooh, you've actually got some proper hardcore troops, though. Those are Huskars. Those are... Those are not nothing. Okay, this is mildly irritating. They are, however, commanded by the ruler. That's of interest. Is he actually, you know, good at commanding? Not really. Okay. I'd say what we should probably do is... Uh, that's five months to go. That is how long until this siege is over? Three months. Right. You know what? That's fine. I'm just going to come down and I'm just going to murder you. That's a-okay. If anyone else wants in, that'd be great. You guys just stay up here. Get on with the siege. I'm going to go take out the flipping king. Oh, yeah. Apparently that should be... Uh, a probably win. Yeah, I'm just going in. We're just going to take care of this ourselves. No trouble. Oh, and I've got reinforcements coming in too. They're actually coming to uh, to help out. And I don't think he can flee. He can't get back on the ocean. 
It's a bit too on the uh, it's a bit too on the late side for that. Are you guys actually coming in, by the way? Are you guys coming to assist? Because if you want to, that'd be fine. Though we're running out of time here. Yeah, you know what? Just gonna wait for them to move one more turn. Then we're moving. Oh, he's gonna try and get in. No, he's trying to flee. He's trying to flee. But it's a bit late for that, guys. Come and assist, and the battle should be overwhelmingly. Oh dear, your skirmishers are not doing very much work at all, and. One of our champions uh, was actually killed, which is a shame. We've wounded one of their dukes, which is great. And, oh, Stenar! Stenar's been flipping maimed. That's no fun. And our champion was also... Wow, you did a lot of damage. But we did drive you off. We did drive you off. So, uh, Guttrum has sadly been uh, killed. Uh, he was one of our commoner knights. But, um, Stenar, how are, how are you now, my friend? Oh, he's one-legged now. That's That's a bit of a shame. Right, well, that's Norway's army already driven off, and oh dear. Oh, the boot is very much on the other foot now, and... Excuse me, who... who are you guys? Oh, that's my lot. Okay, yes, that's Stenar, who just occasionally goes raiding by himself. Well, fair enough, I suppose. Now, we do also have one of the enemy commanders here, so... Oh, actually, no, hang on, we got ourselves... Uh, we got someone else too, someone with a fancy hat. Hello, who are you? So, you've got... You've got a giant pile of claims. That's a lovely pile of claims, including, uh, yeah, all sorts of bits and pieces. Okay, this is, uh, this is uh, of interest. Are you actually useful to me, though? Are you useful to me? Who was your father? By the way, just a count. Though, one of your grandparents was, aha, that's where they come from. You're a grandson of a former king of Denmark. I tell you what, for 50 gold, you can have him back. Hackham, however, I'll just take the stress release so he can go down. Boom, love it. Right, so 50 gold and some stress down. That's some good stuff right there. Now, Siege over here should take no time at all. We have both got ourselves some uh, some good stuff here. We have both got, yep, Siege equipment, basic little onagers or whatever. So, uh, okay, this is uh, this has just been a case of walking in. Oh, this is, this is good. So this is just going to be territory that's mine and... Okay, you're being attacked by... Who are you being attacked by? Hang on, who's who's that? Well, that's one a hell of a country you've got there. Right, well, we'll go and deal with her in a second, all right? Hopefully you can take care of it yourself. Because just for the second, I'm busy crippling Norway forever. Okay, we control housing land, and we got seven gold, which is not much, but it'll do. In five days, we're going to be taking uh, that too. Absolutely spectacular. And, uh, okay, so at this point, I'd say, obviously, uh, yeah, the Norwegian army's in shambles. So, uh, guys, how about we nip round and see what's going on in the capital? Ah, never mind, I see their main army. Okay, we know we can take it, though, so uh, let's see what we got here. Because I suspect he's just making a run over towards the capital and uh, shade of discussion. So... Okay, these are just my, yeah, these are just my champions. Sorry, I didn't even recognise them because they're, they're kind of nobodies. We don't really talk to them much. So, okay, what are they doing? They're chatting about Mayor Astrid. Okay, so I could immediately snitch to her. Try and sneak closer, but that's not really what I'm good at. And uh, gain some dread torture? Bloody hell. Um, or I'm sure it's nothing important. I'm willing to just let this one go. That's fine. I'm not torturing my own champions. Like, bad call. We're literally waging a war right now. No need for any of that nonsense. So, yeah, this point. Where are you going, my friend? Are you coming for my capital once again? Because if you are, I'm very happy to just sort of, you know, come and uh, kill you a second time. Because we literally already, uh, literally already did that. So, uh, just wait for him to uh, arrive in a moment and... Uh, Wait, are you going onto a river right now? Oh, he's sailing away. What a bloody coward. Oh, additional taxes, 110. That's huge. Well done. All right, don't let him get away. He's just trying to sail around right now. Do not let him escape. I think we've got him. I think we've flipping got him. He's not going to be able to. Has somebody got him locked down before he moves? Have we got him? Yeah, okay, we've we've managed to get him. Lapland got on him first. Then I'm here as well. Then our champion was wounded. Our champion's doing really badly against his, unfortunately. And our champion... Oh! Our champion straight up killed one of their dukes. Oh, dear. And another massive victory for us. And... Oh, my. Sadly, I don't have the king. 
I do not have the king, but he does. So, I wish I had the king. It'd be great if I had the king. That'd just be marvellous. But instead, it seems like, uh, yes, I'll just be uh, enforcing some demands at this point, actually. So, I'll be having the Duchy of Norland. And now, Owland stretches far and wide. Right, break down the army. We're actually doing pretty good. Oh, look at that money coming in. Look at that money coming in. Right flip in there. I love it. Because, yes, this territory, of course, is... Uh, it was already Swedish. Oh, he converted it. What a bastard. He managed to convert some of this. Okay, this is fine. We can turn it back. Get it back to being Swedish. Okay, everything's under control. So we have now got... Oh, uh, we have got mega owl land right now. In fact, you know what? We should probably just give this territory uh, straight away. Then again, hang on. Would I rather give this territory straight away? Because uh, how good are these territories? Like, which has got the best level of uh, investment in it? Because I feel like these territories are slightly underdeveloped, actually. But it would be nice to have all this territory right next to each other. It would be... Okay, we're going to give away Southern Owland. So, Lindolf, because we never actually liked you that much anyway, you, my friend, can have that. Except, no, he can't, because he's literally moved so far away, I can't speak to him anymore. Well, kind of his fault for moving far away, to be honest. Okay, what about my son, Olaf II? Can I actually give him anything, or is that no longer allowed, because he's been disinherited? Uh, no, I can't actually, I can't give him anything. I could restore his inheritance, but then he'd actually be, you know, eligible to inherit the main duchy, which I don't want, so. Okay, my family members are being very awkward about being given free territory. You know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna give Scon to Valdemar, because he's getting on a bit. Alright, sooner or later, he's not gonna be able to do much raiding anymore, but he has served me loyally for so long, so I feel like he deserves uh, to have his own court. So uh, let's get you hooked up, my friend. There we go, nice and natural in your marriage to one of my nieces, the daughter of John. So uh, we can get you hooked up right there, and on top of that, you may have a title. And there we go, he now gets to put on a nice warm hat, some lovely robes, uh, and in general he's going to have a lovely time over there. In fact, you know what? You're getting both of them, because I can't find anyone else more worthy. So, congratulations. Now, of course, he expects to be on the council, and so he shall be. He will immediately be reassigned the position of Marshal. Beautiful. Where his first task will be to do exactly what he was always doing, which is, yes, desperately trying to uh, boost control in these various territories that have had, you know, a bad few years. Okay, so I'd say we've had, um... A bit of a roller coaster today, in some ways, which is everything was going a bit on the uh, bit on the dicey side. But we have held together. We have managed to well, okay, ignore the giant bit of Sweden we don't own anymore because the Holy Roman Empire just sort of got a bit um, got a bit hungry. Like if we don't pay attention to that, then everything's going a okay. Our liege is stabilizing somewhat. He's got himself, yeah. Like, nearly 2,000 troops, which should be enough to make sure Norway can't do anything anytime soon. And uh, now, he's got himself a couple of... Sorry, are you allied to both Lithuania and Estonia? Because that's... Aren't they fighting each other? No, they got over it and then made peace. Oh, bloody hell, things are all of a sudden coming up pagan. Sweden's actually got... Sweden's actually got friends. Like... A lot of friends, like, enough friends to, uh, well, just in theory, if we caught the Holy Roman Empire at, like, you know, a, a bad moment or something, if there could be, like, a major rebellion, we might be able to get that back. And I can't help but notice that, yes, Norway's looking, Norway's looking vulnerable, isn't it? In particular, yeah, now you're down to only uh, one county, a county that... De Jure is, you know, admittedly, you know, yours, but looks pretty vulnerable and Swedish to me. Valuable coastal settlements. And also, we haven't really been, uh, we haven't really been doing much to Ireland for a while. So Ireland's got to be 
bloody Lapland. I helped them. When I say helped them, I didn't help them at all. I helped them take islands, and all of a sudden, now they're flipping looting everything. So now there's no loot for me anymore. Ooh, but Scotland looks vulnerable. Okay, maybe we start raiding Scotland instead. It's like islands, but further north. Or Norway, of course. Oh yeah, Norway. Norway's got some good stuff going on. So I would say, ladies and gentlemen, that is enough for now. But next time, uh, the fight back begins. Because uh, we have survived, uh, yes, one hell of an attack from Denmark there. I was caught in a bad position, but it's just, just about worked out. So now, now Norway is looking weak. Now Denmark is looking... Uh, Vulnerable, but not exactly defenceless. They've actually got a lot more than Norway does for the time being. So uh, we might be able to pick a bit more off Norway because I swear that... Oh yeah, that's not something you're supposed to have, is it? No, no, it is not. And Sweden has now got pagan friends and isn't bound by a truce. Meaning Sweden could just basically say, you know what? I'm going to be having that, actually. I'm going to be having that straight back off you. Oh, look at that. We're pushing them back. We're pushing them back. Also, there's all sorts of non-Catholicism starting to uh, pop up, too. Things are going... Uh, things are going well, in fact. We might be ready to start thinking about, you know, uh, pushing towards some holy sites. Because take holy sites, that's unique benefit. Better quality knights, faster navies cheaper men-at-arms, and bloody hell do I need cheaper men-at-arms, so... Okay, the fight back might be about to begin, ladies and gentlemen, and when it does, we might be able to get ourselves some very unique bonuses, but... I suspect that war will not actually be waged in the slightest by Adelvart. He's done a very good job, and I suspect the rest of his life will be spent just desperately trying to get all these territories into good shape. Instead, it is going to fall to Ilva. Ilva, the giantess warrior woman, to lead the charge against the holy sites. And, uh, oh, I really, really hope she gets to. That would be, uh, that'd be magnificent. So hopefully, we might get to see that very, very soon indeed. But in the meantime, I've been John, this has been many a true nerd, and this has been Crusader Kings 3. Thank you very much, and goodbye. This, this guy's enjoying that. This guy's enjoying his elephant a bit too much. In Fair Verona, we set our scene. Oh my god, Becky, look at her butt. It is so big. They've managed to glitch inside one of the buildings. Elephants in the rear! And then oh, in come the chariots! Yeah.